Today at Edinburgh Zoo is a really special day because it's our Malayan tapir calf Maya's first birthday. So people might remember Maya from last year when we had a really cute video of her go viral. And the video was of Maya taking her first steps out in the paddock with her mum Sayang. And it was really cute and adorable to see because she was such a spotty little animal. So it's nice to see the difference in her now. So today, Maya is very, very lucky. We've made a whole bunch of different treats to give her for her birthday enrichment. So the first thing we did was make her some fruit kebabs, which she can get tucked into. Obviously, we can't leave mum out, so mum's got one as well. We've also got a couple of equine balls, and these balls are filled with some of our favourite treats. There's some berries and bits of fruit in there. And the idea is with the hole at the top, they have to roll them around to get them. So it's just a little bit of enrichment and a little bit of work for Maya. And we've also made her a three-tier birthday cake, made out of cardboard boxes. And we've also made her a heart-shaped birthday cake, which she's going to enjoy very much. It won't be long now until Maya heads off to another collection and she'll be able to have her own calves. So she'll be able to continue the success rate that we have with the breeding programme for Malayan tapirs in captivity. But at the moment, they're facing a huge plight out in the wild. There's thought to only be around about 2,500 of these beautiful creatures left in the wild. So it's really important that we have a safe place for them in captivity. One of the biggest problems facing tapirs out in the wild is actually habitat loss and the reason for this is the palm oil industry and this industry unfortunately is something that affects thousands of different types of flora and fauna and tapirs themselves are browsers which means that they eat a lot of things like trees and plants and seeds and fruit and because of these plantations they're destroying all this area for the tapirs meaning that they don't have a food source and they don't have a safe place to live. So one thing that we do advise for anyone that comes into Edinburgh Zoo no matter whether you like a tapir or you like a bird or you like a prime mate is to have a look at the food that you're buying and check that anything that has palm oil in it is sustainable palm oil. The other thing people can do to help support the tapirs here at Edinburgh Zoo is to have a wee look at our Amazon wish list. We've got lovely enrichment on there that can keep these guys entertained for hours so if there's anything on there you fancy donating for Maya's birthday that would be fab and also if you fancy coming into the zoo and you love Maya you fall in love with her and Sayang and Mowgli we also have adoption options so if you wanted to adopt Maya and she can become your own very special tapir.